What do you make of the, the, the information and sometimes misinformation uh, with the wonders of the internet, there's so much pieces of information that people can read up and maybe confuse themselves with. And how how does how have times changed from let's say past the past decade, two decades before we had the internet? The information was in our libraries, but now there's people seem to be poisoned or or polluted with disinformation. What do you make of it? Well, I don't know the exact number, but I'm convinced that roughly 50% of what's on the internet is not true or specifically lies in order to deceive people. Uh, the fact of the matter is the Bible tells us study to show yourself approved. Uh, you're supposed to study for yourself and study requires that we go back to original sources. Uh, people no longer are reading the original books that are written by authors. Instead, they're reading misquotes, misinformation, misinterpretations of the original materials. And one of the great things that I lament in the education system of the United States, and I lament in the education system of the UK and every other nation in the world where evolution has become dominant, is that we are no longer teaching critical thinking. Now, I grew up, again, being taught only evolution, but I did learn critical thinking as a scientist. And so what we need are people to go back to critical thinking, where you actually go back to original sources, you compare the thoughts on both sides and on issues where faith is involved, mm -hmm. that by faith you're going to believe this one or that one. You have to think critically. You have to educate yourself on both sides, the pros, the cons, weigh the evidence, and then make your decision. Now, that, for instance, applies to the question of origins, which is creation or evolution. Yeah. We shouldn't be simply memorizing material given to us by people who are not authoritative and who have a political agenda or personal agenda of some sort. So I would encourage everybody to go back to thinking critically and go back to reading original sources. Forget the Internet stuff, because so much of it is either wrong, mm. lies, uh, intentional misinformation. Where is your main source of information? When you do your research, um, where do you look? What advice would you give to our viewers? Any specific areas? Well, I do look at various scientific publications that where I review articles. I review articles from medicine to astrophysics. Yeah. Uh, and then I decide which ones I really want to find interesting. And I read the original articles. I read the original publications. I do not simply look at what the internet says about this particular thing or that particular thing. Yeah. I do a lot of research. I, I read a tremendous amount of articles, both in evolution and in creation. I, you know, it's one of those things, if you came to my house and you looked at my library, which is rather extensive, Yeah. Uh, you would see that I have probably as many or more books by evolutionary authors as I do creation authors, because I have to know what the enemy is thinking. <laughs> I have to know what they're saying. And of course, I look at the scientific research and articles that are being published on recent findings, such as soft tissues, blood, proteins in dinosaur fossils, which cannot possibly be millions and millions of years old, proving that they died in a worldwide flood only 4,500 years ago. And what I do is I look at what they find, I look at the way they try to spin to the public's uh, you know, consumption, uh, their view, their worldview, and then I take a look at the reality of what they found and I can then prove creation.